I think it was actually that same werewolf that built me the bone staff, the blacksmith werewolf. Uh, he was like, wow, you do not look very healthy right now. It's like, yeah, I don't feel very healthy. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I can tell. <laughs> you look like shit. It's like, yeah, that sounds about right. <laughs> You know, I, I may not be very aware of... Ah, we just saw the items despawn. See, I told you those things despawn. So if you didn't believe me before, now you have video evidence of stuff can despawn if you just leave it lying around. Um, that was specifically why I left those items lying there. Uh, the reason that items are able to despawn is that uh, chickens lay eggs, <laughs> which, which means that if chickens lay a bunch of eggs and then if items don't despawn, eventually you're just going to run out of memory because you're trying to render in all of these vast quantities of eggs, <laughs> just eggs as far as the eye can see. Uh, which is about one chunk away from where all of the eggs are because any further and you're rendering in all of those eggs and then you crash because of all of the eggs. <clears throat> Not the most fun experience. Uh, yeah. The item despawn <laughs> Sorry about that. Long morning. Uh, it's been a real long morning. The item despawn mechanics are in place specifically to prevent your game from crashing, from just memory overload. Uh, chickens lay eggs. You can't exactly expect to go around gathering every single egg that every single chicken that ever spawns is going to lay. It just doesn't work like that. Um, there is... a lot of stuff that uh, that can go wrong if that's not you know taken care of if you don't have item despawning properly handled uh, you'll just end up with what appears to be a memory leak but it's actually just uh, item collection you gotta have item collection handled. Uh, but if you don't have item collection handled, because maybe you didn't expect needing to pick up literally every egg ever, uh, then basically what ends up happening is, uh, yeah, you, you just crash the game because that's just how it goes. Um, What was I talking about? <laughs> oh yeah, Dragonus got her butt whooped. Um, that was also Dragonus's first defeat, like in her life. She never had her butt whooped like that before. Um, it was definitely an eye-opening experience for Dragonus. Dragonus got a lot more interested in enhancing their survival aspects. They wanted... <laughs> Apologies again. Uh, Dragonus wanted to not be very squishy. Dragonus wanted to not die. Uh, however, Dragonus was very squishy. Dragonus was very easily able to find herself overwhelmed and pretty easily uh, killable, actually. Uh, in the end, at the end of the day, Dragonus was in fact a mage. 
mages are, of course, notorious for just being these squishy little, easily murderable, you know, just death machines uh, is the most accurate term for a mage. Uh, mages are very deadly. However, without any form of protection, a mage is not as much of a threat as you'd think. <laughs> uh, what is with me and just extreme over-torching? I don't get it. I... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Okay, well... Neither of these two torches are actually needed here. So I can actually remove both of those. As well as this torch, I think. Uh, then there is... This torch down here. What? Oh! They have a drowned. Uh, this is a great opportunity for me to mention that if you like my content, you should go ahead, leave a like on the video. I try to release new videos every day, about four hours a day. Uh, four hours worth of video per day, which, yes, that is a lot of Minecraft. I am aware. Uh, it does take roughly eight hours a day because I'm still getting ahead of the curve on the whole upload schedule thing, meaning I still do actually dedicate a lot of my time to recording the Minecraft videos. Eight hours a day, in fact. Uh, which means if you think that this is the type of content that you and your friends uh, enjoy, leave a like. You know, don't be shy. Leave a like. Uh, say hi in the comments. Let me know what you think of the video. Uh, I've gotten compliments from people who played the Alpha. I don't know whether that's Alpha Bedrock Edition or Alpha Java Edition. I hope it's Alpha Java Edition, but it wouldn't surprise me if it was Alpha Bedrock Edition. I've played Alpha Bedrock Edition. Alpha Bedrock Edition sucked, okay? <laughs> uh, no, I, I don't intend to be mean when I say that. It just, it wasn't a good game. Matter of fact, it wasn't even a game. It was kind of a, it, it was, how do I describe this? It was a, an attempt at uh, figuring out how to handle monster spawning as well as an attempt at figuring out how to handle the crafting menus. Uh, the majority of the alpha version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition was just... Here's a bunch of monsters, here's a bunch of uh, items which you can craft. Uh, Monsters have health, you can craft swords, uh, everyone's set to adventure mode, and then good luck. You know, there's no items, you can't break blocks, because you're in adventure mode. Uh, the pickaxe wasn't an item yet. Uh, axes weren't an item yet. You could just place a crafting table. You didn't have to craft it, you could just place it. You just went, okay, I want a crafting table. And then you put the crafting table on your hotbar. You didn't have an inventory. You just had the, the creative mode, basically. Uh, however, creative mode was also simultaneously adventure mode. Uh, 
they hadn't even separated those two yet. That's how that's how bad it was. They didn't even separate those two yet. It's like wow. Okay, now is it just me or is the paper doll actually causing lag? I'm gonna turn off the paper doll. Uh, video hide paper doll. I'd hide HUD, but I actually kind of need it. Uh, I will turn off the fancy graphics, because that is causing a little bit of lag. Not much. Uh, maximum range of view. Um, fancy bubbles, view bobbing, camera shake. Outline selection, auto save, in game player names. Uh, wasn't there something about. Uh, where are my global resources? Yeah, global resources, I just have the default. Sounds. Oh my god. They updated the sound menu. Thank you. Yes. Uh, you know what they need, though? They need specifically a volume meter for uh, redstone. Uh, redstone blocks, specifically. Redstone blocks. Come on. 30. There we go. Uh, they specifically need a... Uh, a volume control for redstone uh, sound effects, basically. Uh, I'm not subscribed to anything. There is some form of. Is it here? Ah. Oh, they included the spyglass. Nice. Okay. Uh, let's see how maximum sensitivity feels. How does this feel? I kind of like it. Kind of vibing with it. I'll see how it goes for a while. Uh, note to self, sensitivity was at 60. Okay, now... My sensitivity just got bumped up to a hundred, which means very sensitive, very, very responsive, very, very easy to, can I make this jump? I gotta thread the needle basically for this jump because I'm jumping between pumpkins. I made it though. Nice. Uh, I'm used to having the lower sensitivity. So this can definitely get some, take some getting used to. Uh, let me go ahead and reserve these two spots. Let me also reserve a spot for the torches. Um, what else do I need? I need... I need to craft some of those lanterns. Uh, I have plenty of carved pumpkins. However, I need to actually deposit some of this stuff uh, while I'm at it. It's also nighttime, so I... <gasps> they updated the moon. It's an actual round moon. Oh my god. Look at that. It looks beautiful. They did mess up, though. It uh, looks like the moon's supposed to go out to, like, here, uh, Mojang probably needs to fix that, but it's no longer just a cube, you know? Uh, yeah, you can see the sun is much bigger. Uh, the moon is much smaller. Hmm. I just noticed that was a thing. Uh, yeah, I guess Mojang tried to shrink the moon and then just kind of messed up. They forgot to shrink the actual image. Took one heart of damage, but that's okay. I'll heal it up. Come on. 
There we go. Run over here to my storage chest where I store things such as rotten flesh, gunpowder, string, bone, wool, specifically white wool, any leads that I find, glass bottles, uh, bowls made from wood. Um, I think the majority of my stuff is stored actually all the way down in the mine, which is a little unfortunate. As things coming along for this. Ah, right. Why is... Oh, okay. Um, I was a bit of a derp here. Uh, yeah, you can't... You can't put sand in a smoker to smelt it. You can put it in a furnace to smelt it, but not a smoker. Okay. Um, that being said, I actually have quite a bit of material to deposit here. Put the sand back. I don't really need it. That's what I was gonna do. The lanterns. Okay, where's the door? There's the door. Okay, I need to go over here. Pick up some of these. And then I just put the carved pumpkin on top, torch on the bottom, and there we go. Torch up high, or torch down low, and carved pumpkin up high. Um, I'm sure the uh, auto translate's going to have a field day with that sentence. <laughs> Putting the curved pumpkin up on top, putting the torch down below. Right. <laughs> I tried to go upstream in the in the water stream there. Um Okay, I need this place looks a little brighter. Is it just me? <laughs> or is this place actually just a little bit brighter. I'm not used to this place being this bright. Oh, right. The trident. Now that I have the trident, I can make use of these books. Ooh. I forgot if I had something that I wanted instead of channeling. Yeah, I had loyalty three. Oh my. Okay. Well, this is a very expensive book. However, it's worth it because what ends up happening is when I enchant the item, it gets impaling for loyalty three, not much else. Uh, I can give it the channeling, but that would counteract the loyalty. I'm fairly sure. No. No, it does not. Oh my. Okay, so I need a bunch of levels, basically. Uh, because I want to enchant this trident up even further. It's a very powerful book. A very powerful series of books. Um, 
Yeah. That is, that is some good stuff right there. Uh, I'm fairly certain the slime is going to spawn down here any moment now because there's a slime, there's a slime chunk like right here. Uh, and that roof is high enough for a slime to spawn up there too. Um, what's the moose stone we got in here? That's backed up full. That's two away from being full. Uh, no fuel in either of them, though. How about up here? Oh, we have plenty of space for cobblestone up here. Okay, let me grab out this cobblestone. Pick that up. Then, let me grab this. Deposit that. Go ahead and queue up a reserved spot for that. Let me just actually uh, go ahead and fill up this storage chest up here. I don't remember how much I needed, so I just grabbed it all. And then I'll go deposit the stuff back into the barrel, which then gives me enough inventory space to go ahead and re-reserve my nine inventory spots for cobble. Uh, I don't really need to reserve more for dirt yet. Uh, I can put away the pickaxe, actually, now that I'm down here and thinking about it and noticing it. I can put away the pickaxe, because I don't want to have the pickaxe break on me. Yeah, slimes run around with auto jump enabled. Oh, right. I can upgrade my iron axe, my actual, you know, axe itself. Uh. Oh, boy. Okay. Okay, so I can give it, oh, the sharpness is countered. Uh, I can give it Unbreaking 2 and Silk Touch. Uh, but that would not stack too well with the Smite. I kind of want to use Smite because, oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to want to do it this way. Then if I do that, I will want, let's see. The video. Okay, so if I want that, then I'm going to want five levels. I have two levels. Not bad. Also, why did I switch to my bow during all of that? That was weird. You know, I, I never really use my bow all that often, unless I spot an enemy in the distance like a creeper. That was weird. Uh, yeah, okay. There we go. Swimming up. Boop pop out, walk over here, deposit slime, craft the slime block as well, oops, helps if I actually craft the slime block, deposit 
deposit the slime block. Run all the way over here to the farms where I store Nautilus shells. Because while I was over here, I forgot to deposit this last time. Nautilus shell. There we go. Now I want to run all the way over. See, these are normal llamas. These guys will despawn. Matter of fact. Ah, oh, he rejected me. Let me try again. Okay, he likes me. Yeah, see, I can put a carpet on him. And then uh, from there, I'm able to uh, put a storage chest on him once I have the carpet. Uh, I think I can make a carpet, actually. Let me go ahead and make some carpets for these guys. Let me see what it takes to make a carpet. What does it take for a carpet? Two? And I get three carpets. Not bad. I can make a painting. Nice. Uh, what's it take to make an item frame? I forget. Was it just the leather that I'm missing? Can I already make an item frame? No, there it is. Yeah, I'm just missing the leather. It's just a bunch of sticks. Okay. That big stick energy. <laughs> uh, now, to put the carpets on, can I just... Uh, ooh, I wonder. Can I ride these? No. Uh, to put the carpets on, can I just... No. No, it doesn't look like I can. Now that it has a carpet, however, come on. Why can I? There you are. Okay. So that means you both are now wearing carpets. That's good. Hurry over here to the bed. Yeah, see, it always does that. It says respawn point set, and then it says it again. It's like, why does it always do that? It's kind of annoying. Uh, let me see what it takes to equip these guys with a storage chest. Also, while I'm at it. Yeah, still no item. I'm starting to think that those guys don't actually give items. Um, let me try you. Yeah, doesn't look like it. Plenty of experience for, you know, what it's worth. Uh, let's see... Where can I put a carpet that makes it look nice? Um, I don't really want to put it outside. I know where I can put it. It's a welcome mat. There we go. I now have a welcome mat. Yay. Uh, storage chests, right. That's what I was wanting to do. I was wanting to look into storage. Because I want to see if I give one of these guys a storage chest. Ah, okay. Now, if I look at him, he's got... Looks like nine inventory slots. Um, can I control him at all? Uh, I suppose I'm supposed to use a lead, but yeah. It's not too bad, I suppose.
Can I just... Nope. Okay. Oh, wow. That punch did a lot of damage. Okay. Um, so, yeah, I can attach storage chests to these guys. Uh, if I kill him, do I get the storage, or do I get the item back? Oh, oh my. That actually announces it. Okay. I suppose it's because he's a tamed animal. Makes sense. Uh, I had to do it for science. Uh... Run over here to the smoker. Check and see if this has any kelp. It does not. Does this have any? No. Yeah, it hasn't processed any new kelp yet. That's fine. Uh, we need to deposit the leather which we obtained. <coughs> Because otherwise, it's going to hog up inventory space. We also should probably find a good spot for this carpet. Oh, you know what I can do? I can carpet the top of this area up here so that it's just covered in carpet. I can also carpet this area. I was depositing leather. Now, where's the dirt storage? Do I have a dirt storage? I don't think I have a currently available dirt storage. I shall use this one as my dirt storage. Do 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 do. Filling in all of the reserved spaces for dirt, because I need dirt storage. Uh, now I'll just leave that there while I surface. Now, last time it was Barely three bubbles. Keep in mind, I have respiration three on my diamond helmet. Okay, it looks like they sped up the uh, the ability to, you know, accelerate out of the water just a little. Not enough to be really noticeable or too useful, but enough to, you know, have it an impact. Uh, they probably wouldn't put that in the the notes if they did change it. Uh, they might. Yeah, is it just me or is... I don't think it was the paper doll that was slowing it down. I think sneaking slows down your ability to swing. Uh, someone should ask Il Mango to investigate that. See if sneaking actually slows down the ability to swing your tools, like your pickaxe. Uh, he knows how to set up all of that counting with the redstone ticks and whatnot. Uh, he's very good at that, very detailed. Uh, Il Mango is a very technical player. I like that about him. Uh, I like the SciCraft server because the SciCraft server is very detail-oriented, very careful about their redstone. Uh, they keep detailed logs about basically everything that they want to do with the redstone. And they're very uh, community-driven. Uh, I like that about SciCraft server. Um, It's ironically a very communist setup. Uh, however, I don't really mind that. You know, it seems to work for them. Uh, communism, of course, not for everyone, especially Americans. 
Good lord, are Americans lazy. Um, a few, uh, a few other channels that I like in case you guys want some recommendations. Uh, Technology Connections, great channel. Um, he's got a very dry, witty sarcasm, but he's great at explaining things such as the uh, American electrical system. He's great for explaining how things like a camera works, uh, toaster ovens. He actually shows off the inside of his uh, circuit breaker. For his house <laughs> and he, ex he goes into detail about explaining a why you should not do that yourself because uh, it's very dangerous and he knows barely enough to basically not have any issues he hasn't burned down his house yet <laughs> he so far has a 100% success rate on that he hopes that it never drops below 100% success rate, because if it does, well, then he's out of house. Um, he got a compliment from someone who uh, worked in the, uh, I think it was the Army Corps of Engineers uh, as an electrician, uh, which is like the highest compliment you can get. They built things like the Hoover Dam. Okay. <laughs> if you got a compliment on your construction abilities from someone who built the Hoover Dam, you'd be happy. <laughs> you would be, you would be thrilled with that kind of a compliment because that is the kind of compliment that really gets you places. Um, if you're not familiar with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, uh, or the Hoover Dam, you're probably either in a very, very, uh, poor country, because, you know, the Hoover Dam is a great feat of electrical engineering, as well as terraforming, uh, construction, uh, just a lot of things. As a matter of fact, I think the Hoover Dam's concrete is actually still drying, if I'm not mistaken. I'd have to ask my dad on that. Um, that's how big the Hoover Dam is. The Hoover Dam already completed construction a long time ago, but it's still drying. It, it completed construction years ago. It's still drying. <laughs> it hasn't finished drying yet. Um, which should tell you a few things about the, about the Hoover Dam. Uh, a, it's very big. You know? Uh, B, the Hoover Dam is very impressive. It's a very well-known landmark. Um, some would argue that it is actually a decently safe argument to say that it is one of the man-made wonders of the world. Right up there alongside the Great Pyramids, because if the Hoover Dam succeeds in, you know, finishing and setting and all that, the Hoover Dam is going to be around for a really long time. Uh, we're talking maybe a few hundred years easily. Uh, the Hoover Dam probably will not break in this lifetime. It will eventually break, because eventually it's inevitable. Eventually humans will stop caring for it, and then it's just going to break. You know, that's, that's erosion for you. You know, that's not negligence. That's just erosion, you know. Eventually... It's just going to not be there one day. But, hey, eventually, so will the pyramids. So, whatever. You know? It doesn't take that long for erosion to actually set in if left unattended. 
uh, it is very possible for the Hoover Dam to not even last through to the end of the current lifetime if things don't go the right way. Uh, if things go horribly wrong, yeah, the Hoover Dam could be gone before I die. You know, I'm 31 right now. If, if it can be gone before I die, uh, I don't know what that says about the rest of us, you know? Did something just break? No. However, those chain boots aren't looking too healthy. Boop ba doop ba doop ba doop ba doop. Leaping back up the cliffside. Using my carved out staircase. Such a silly thing. Um, I just realized what I did. Okay. Uh, yeah. There we go. I need to remember not to fully excavate around the anvil. Because I need an access point to reach the bed. It's still a heart, or a, a half a heart to, uh, you know, fall out of bed. However... There we go. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it seems. There we go. I'm leaving this block beneath the anvil because the anvil's a gravity block. <laughs> uh, let's see. If I place a lantern there, I could remove that lantern, but I'm actually leaving it up there so that the bed has a light source on it. I want to submerge these, that's right. Because I am going way down with my next one. Which means I want to make sure these are not going to be bothersome. Uh, I want to be able to look out over this thing and just see the vast expanse before me. torch has got a new texture. Nice. Real nice. That is actually pretty nice. Uh, that is the right spot, right? Yeah, that's the right spot. Now, that might just be because I'm on what is essentially low graphics settings, because I'm in the middle of recording, thus I don't want to have to deal with uh, all of the lag. Uh, however, I'm pretty sure that the torch has got a new texture setting, or a new, a new texture. Yeah, that looks about right. When I say that looks about right, I mean, yeah, that looks right. If I really wanted to measure it, one, two, three. Yep. There we go. Got that all situated. Got got that whole situation sorted out. Uh, if I wanted to, I could actually do this right now since I'm actually submerging them. Two, three, there. OK. 
Okay. Now I can just boop and boop. Let me sneak, take a peek over the ledge, make sure the torch didn't fall. Nope, it's right there. And go pick up the torch. We also actually throw these torches down so that they shift over to that slot. It's a handy little trick in case you ever wondered how to how to quickly and easily manage your inventory on something like Bedrock Edition without needing to actually open your inventory. Uh, if it's just on your hotbar, you can just throw it on the ground, pick it back up. Works like a charm. You'd be amazed. Hey. Where'd that torch go? Oh, whoops. I faced that the wrong way. I am still used to having the lower sensitivity setting. Whoops. That was my bad. There it is. Right there. Cannonball! <laughs> oh, jeez, that was close. Okay. <laughs> I just cannonballed into the water and I landed right next to a drowned. <laughs> I just turned around, it's like, okay, there's a drowned right there. Out of freaking nowhere. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the drown was thinking the same thing. He just turned around. He was like, whoa, there's a human right there out of freaking nowhere. Uh, I got disoriented and lost track of where that torch was. Yeah, I lost track of where the torch was. There is a single torch somewhere around here. Ah, I just saw it. There it is. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, the drowned are spawning much more frequently now, uh, much more reliably as well. Do 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 do. do. Uh. Let's see, uh, this is a good time to mention to like the video, comment, subscribe, helps me, helps the channel, tells YouTube this is the type of stuff that it should show all your friends so that you can all talk about it together. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed yet, you really should consider subscribing because uh, I noticed that 90%? No. Was it 90? Maybe it was 75%. A lot of my viewers are not subscribed. Let's put it that way. The majority of my viewers are not subscribed. You guys just search me up on YouTube and then you never subscribe. It's like, guys, I'm making... Oh, guys and girls. I'm making... Uh, okay, I can already hear the... Uh, social justice warriors, as they like to call themselves. Uh, I can already hear them going, Did you just do It's like, okay, look. Okay. You're born as either one, two, or three. Okay? Meaning, you are either born male, or you are born female, or you are born, if you're really lucky, as both, okay? Uh, don't let the doctors tell you otherwise, because they will. They will try and tell you otherwise. They will tell you you are either boy or girl, not both. They will never tell you that you're both. Uh, 
you have to specifically explicitly order them to not touch your child if you want them to, you know, not touch your child uh, for, you know, sexual identity correction. Uh, doctors are instructed in medical school if your uh, your uh, I don't know the proper term for it, but basically if your your little uh, your 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 junk, as it were, is large enough, you are considered a boy. And they will tell you, congratulations, it's a boy. If your uh, equipment is too small, they will tell you, congratulations, it's a girl. This is a universal standard amongst the U.S. doctors, as far as I am aware. Uh, meaning, if they consider you a girl, they will then uh, correct any discrepancies so as to prevent confusion or panic amongst the parents. However, this is a violation of human rights. If they do this to you, they violate your human rights. Uh, because you are not supposed to have any unauthorized operations when you are that young. If you did have an unauthorized operation when you were that young, congratulations. You can probably sue them and never need to ever work another day in your life. However, uh, the odds that they would ever tell you that they did anything about your gender identity uh, is low. And that's unfortunate because I'm sure there are plenty of people who were born as uh, what's known as a hermaphrodite. If you don't know what a hermaphrodite is, I would just like to say that hermaphrodite is a wonderful Greek goddess. <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, you should definitely look into the uh, the various aspects of Aphrodite. Hermaphrodite is a very uh, influential Greek goddess, uh, a god of love. Uh, the god goddess Aphrodite is very uh, very popular in Greece. Uh, Greece, of course, being, uh, you know, Thor, Zeus, uh, Hades, all of that. That's Greece. That's Greek culture. Uh, the Grecian or Thracian, I think it is. No, Thracian is a, a different uh, country in Greece. Uh, or near Greece. I don't know. Uh, did I just hear monsters? I don't know. Uh, it, anyway, if you were operated on like that when you were a child, there is a chance that they were wrong because they go based on the measurement. If that measurement is that your, uh, you know, junk is uh, large enough, they will tell you you are a boy. If your equipment, as it were, is small enough, they'll tell you you're a girl. I've known boys who were definitely not the type that would actually be uh, male in that aspect. Uh, 
they would definitely be considered female. Definitely. Uh, and when I say definitely, I mean, we're talking micro. Yeah. Um, we're, we're talking micro size. There are, there are people who get it wrong, you know. They measure it, and they follow the measurement rules, and they do all that properly, but they get it wrong. It happens. But the problem is, fundamental, it's not that they got it wrong, it's that they did it. That's the problem. The fact that they did that is the problem. You understand? Uh, if you don't understand, you're not paying attention. It's a violation of your human rights, meaning as a species. <laughs> uh, they violated your species rights if they did that. Uh, you know. Could you imagine if someone violated a dwarf's rights? Could you imagine if someone told a dwarf that they couldn't mine stone ever again? You're not a dwarf. Have you ever told a dwarf that they're not a dwarf? 